This is Sally and Richard traveling. Thanks for joining us. We have a real treat for you today. We're in the hills of Portland, Oregon. This is where all the rich and famous live. It's absolutely beautiful day today. Uh, about 78 degrees, the sun is shining, and we're going to start on the Cumberland Trail, which is inside Forest Park. Forest Park is a massive um, amount of land that they've reserved right in the heart of Portland so that people can go hiking whenever they want right inside the city. It's beautiful. We're starting out on the Cumberland Trail, and then we're going to connect with the trail called Wildwood, and it's going to take us right up to this gorgeous 1800 mansion called the Pittock Mansion. And there's a view of Portland that is absolutely incredible, so we're so excited to show it to you. Okay, we're about to get started here on the trailhead. This trailhead is just um, covered with beautiful ferns and Douglas fir trees and all kinds of amazing foliage. We've got our incredible daughter Danielle here with us for today, who's going to be hiking with us. Danielle, say hi to our Hello. to our viewers out there. So we're so excited that you could join us. If you ever get a chance to come to Portland, Oregon, you've got to get on this trail. It's just so beautiful. Of course, everything in the Northwest is beautiful. It's the most beautiful part of the U.S. that you'll ever visit is the Northwest. We're on the Cumberland Trail, headed towards the Wildwood Trail, and then we'll be up to Pittock Mountain. Beautiful forest here. Douglas fir trees, a state tree in the state of Oregon. Also, we have the cedar trees in here, some alders mixed in with the undercover brush, sword ferns, and many other species of plants. We're on the Cumberland Trail. This is a shot of a Douglas fir tree state tree for Oregon. This tree shoots about 300 feet high and it's about six feet wide. Probably uh, over, well over a hundred years old for sure. This forest is loaded with all types of trees this size and bigger. Okay, we're at the intersection of the Cumberland Trail and the Wildwood Trail. So we're gonna head back up the trail this way and we're on our way to Pittock Mountain. This Wildwood Trail, very popular in the Portland area, 20 miles long. It goes up and down the Portland Hills, all the way from the zoo, down through the upper elevations of the city. Homes are not too far away, built up on the uh, hillsides. It's an excellent trail to hike, easy to hike, no boulders. It's very well kept. It's a fun trail to take. Okay, we're on the Wildwood Trail and we met a couple of visitors to the area. And where are you uh, young ladies from? We're from Colorado. Oh, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do a lot of hiking out there, but this trail's really green, so that's really it's nice. It's a lot but different. It's very different, yeah. What's the trails like in Colorado? Uh, there's a lot more, there's a lot less plants. The trees are a lot shorter. And it's pretty dry. It's really dry. Dry, dry. Yeah. okay. My only recommendation. Have you been up to a Pittock Mansion yet? Uh, we came from there. Okay. So yeah, what did you think cool. of Pettick Mansion? It was cool. Yeah. Was it a nice view up there over the city? Yeah, we're going to go look at it again. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, we're on that way too. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great uh, trip now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay, bye now. <laughs> okay, we're at the junction of Wildwood Trail and McClary Trail. And we're going to hang a right on our trail here and head on up to Pettick Mansion. These are called maidenhair ferns. They like shade in a cool environment. They shaped with a, kind of a finger-like protrusions out there. Very beautiful. This whole hillside's loaded with maidenhair ferns. These plants here are called Oregon grapes. They're native to this area and they cover the hillsides along this Forest Park Trail, Portland, Oregon. OK, 
Okay, hopefully you're enjoying the Wildwood Trail with us. We're gaining a lot of elevation. My body can feel it. Uh, we're way up high now amongst all the beautiful old growth trees and younger trees. Just a beautiful area. The hillside is just covered with ferns. You can possibly see behind me and tell that we've gained quite a bit of elevation. We're still climbing. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying the view. We're at the entrance to the Pittock Mansion. We made it up the hill, quite a climb. We're looking at this beautiful uh, landscaping here at the mansion. Every plant has a little tag to tell us uh, what type of plant it is. They had an amazing gardener up here at the Pittock Mansion. So it's just beautiful as we're just walking around here. We haven't quite gotten to the mansion that's coming up, but these are just the gardens on the way in. Beautiful, huh? This is the landscaping on the side of the mansion. Again, every plant having a tag so that you know what type of species of plant it is. And then we're walking over here to the front of the Piddock Mansion itself. Just a beautiful place. Um, you know, nice green trees and lots of ferns and lots of flowers. Just beautiful. Hope you're okay. Yeah, we're on the back side of the mansion now. This mansion was built in 1814 by Henry Pinnock for him and his family. And the back side of the mansion looks out over all the city of Portland. It's uh, one of the highest points in Portland, so it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, we're looking at a beautiful dogwood tree. I mean, they are just absolutely laden with blossoms. We're up on the balcony on the back side of the house. And as we're panning up here, you can see the extraordinary view of downtown Portland. And then as we come around, this home is built of, uh, the whole thing is stone that was brought in. And it's just, the architecture is unbelievable on this home. Just beautiful. They do tours through the mansion if you want to see the inside. But as you can see, just all of the grounds, you can see the gardens along the fence down there with all the flowers. It's just beautiful. They even have a vegetable garden down there that they harvest vegetables from. It's gorgeous. Okay, we're uh, looking out at the view from the backyard here and all the flower gardens. This view actually overlooks the Willamette River. That was one of the reasons that Henry Pittock wanted to build up here, so he wanted to overlook the river. But now, you know, we're a big city with lots of uh, mature trees, so it's a very different view than what Henry and his family had. They had to plant a lot of these trees. These are roses, and Georgine was Henry's wife, Georgine Pittock, and she started the infamous rose gardens right here in Portland. Roses do really well here in the Northwest, and we have this amazing place called the uh, Rose uh, Gardens in Washington Park. Okay, we're still in the back of the Pittock Mansion looking at all the beautiful flower gardens. We're going to pan around here to show you the absolutely gorgeous view of the city of Portland from here. Just beautiful. You can see a little bit of Mount Hood. It's a little bit, uh, there's some clouds up there obscuring it, but Henry's uh, mansion here looks right at Mount Hood. It's one of the most spectacular views of Mount Hood that you can have here in Portland. So it's just directly in front of the camera there. But you can just see how um, there's so much forest here in the city that it's just, uh, it's a very green city.
Okay, we're looking at the um, the house where their um, groundskeeper lived. He did everything, all the maintenance work and uh, keeping the maintaining the helping the gardeners to maintain the gardens. They uh, back in that day, back in the 1800s, it was. Portland was in such a growth mode here that they had to entice people to live on the grounds in order uh, to have somebody that would help them maintain the grounds up here. So it's a four-story house and uh, it's a really cute house, Italian style and just lovely. Hope you're enjoying the view. This was what was originally the garage, turned in now to various uh, artifacts, tickets, and souvenirs. This was the original garage, three car garage. Now it's converted to museum, store, and uh, various artifacts. Henry Pittick came to the Oregon area back in the late 1800s as a 16 year old boy. Came from the East Coast. He started working at the Oregonian newspaper and eventually took it over, became owner and built it into a newspaper conglomerate. He became wealthy, yeah. built this house in 19, early 1900s, moved into it around 19. 14. Henry Pittick eventually became a major influence in this area. He was mayor in Portland. Back in those days, Portland was just a one lane mud road, as they said.